Oh, hey there, fellow maker. You've got Bill in the shop today. You know, we've been trying to get new videos out for you every single Monday, and we didn't get one out this Monday, so I figured I'd quickly shoot something fun for you, or it's fun for me anyway. Uh, see, we were in Austin, Texas last week for the solar eclipse, the total solar eclipse. Uh, so we were busy all week, and then I got a cold, and I uh, had to take the whole weekend off. I'm feeling better today and I wanted to crank out something for you and we just saw our buddy Adam Savage put out a video about one of his hats. He uh, steam fitted or fixed one of his hats and they got me thinking I have a perspective on hats and I'm going to share it with you. So buckle up because I've got a bunch of hats here and I want to talk about them. Uh, first let's talk about why I wear a hat. Um, Years ago, uh, when I had a, a day job and disposable income, I used to go to a store in Seattle called Bernie Oots Hats. They are unfortunately not around anymore. Uh, but my friends and I, us hooligans, would go hang out at the haberdashery, <laughs> spend our disposable income on hats. And the main reason why is, other than being stylish, uh, I just never know what to do with my hair. Uh, and I couldn't care less to style it. So I just hide it under a hat. That's the main thing, especially when shooting videos, uh, especially if I start filming and I haven't showered that day, I can chuck a hat on. You don't have to worry about my hair. Uh, but over the years, I started to lean towards a certain hat. It was this cabbie hat, this ivy cap style of hat. And in fact, this is the original one. Uh, I got this years and years ago. And as you can see, I wore it out, completely wore it out. Uh, I tr tried washing it. The seams started falling apart here. The brim is cracked in many places. In fact, it's, it's just, it's just crumbling in there. Yeah, there's, there's almost nothing left of that. Um, but I loved this hat. I love the color. This olive green is really great. I love the fabric. Ripstop looks so cool. It's got that grid on there. Uh, and it just, it's just enough hat for me. It's not too flashy, too showy. Uh, I don't really go for adornments, don't have any tattoos, I don't wear any uh, jewelry except for my wedding ring here. Uh, but as far as a little bit of decoration, these, these ivy caps are my jam. Uh, I do have, like I said, a ton of other hats. Uh, we have, like I said, we were um, went on a bit of a bender once we found our favorite local hat store. So I bought a bunch. I got, I got a pirate hat at, at the Tall Ships Tacoma in like 2007. I still have that. In fact, I was wearing that pirate hat when I proposed to Brittany, who was dressed as a pirate at the Portland Pirate Festival. And that was 2008, 2009. Uh, tons and tons of fun hats. In fact, let's take a moment to jump through the house and see some of our weird hats. Boom, pirate hat. Cowboy hat for my Wolverine costume from over 10 years ago. Another foam pirate hat. Another ivy cap. My vacation hat. I even wore this fedora for a while, milady. I also really dig the simplicity of these military style caps. These hats are all hung up on the wall with these 3D printed hangers. Um, I'll link those over on our Printables Gizmo Thrill account if you want to download that and print it for yourself. That's our weird hat collection, a bunch of goofy ones, many of those of course for costumes. Uh, but I've got a bunch more of these ivy caps. There's this sort of more formal looking uh, one here I really enjoy. This one is more like a winter one. It's a little heavier. I wear this when it's cold out. This one uh, I inherited from my grandfather when he passed away a few years ago. Uh, it doesn't fit me. My head's a little bigger than, than uh, Papa's, but uh, I hang it up in my house and it reminds me of my grandfather because he was one cool, stylish dude. Uh, but back to the original, this guy here. Uh, this thing wore out and then I went through a series of hats to try and find what like the next one was because I couldn't find another copy of this hat. So there's the brand. It's not really a known brand. I tried searching for it. I really couldn't find it. I originally bought this at like a Marshall's on the sale rack for like $8. Uh, and it was just impossible to find again. So if you go back and watch our videos from years back, you'll see that hat vanish and a couple of others come into rotation. Uh, and then eventually I settled on this one. This is my current daily driver. Uh, and it's very similar. Very similar to this one. The lines are different. You can see the seams are very different and I prefer the old one, but this one was pretty close. And I've been wearing it for a long time and I've been really enjoying it. In fact, uh, 
I've been, it's kind of my, my look, right? Uh, a few years ago, I was at uh, Silicon in, in San Jose and my twin brother was there and Simone Yetch commented that I didn't have my hat on and it made it very difficult to pick out who I was, especially next to my identical twin brother. Uh, that was pretty awesome, actually. I got to introduce my twin brother to Adam Savage at that event, which was incredibly special. Uh, but yeah, this, this sort of green-ish cabbie hat looking thing has become part of my look. Uh, and I love it. I, I really dig the way it looks. Uh, but this original one has become like my white whale. Uh, I have never been able to find another exact one until today. In fact, it wasn't me, it was Brittany, my incredible wife, who loves me so much and knows how much these hats mean to me. She scoured the internet and found a brand new one. Same brand and everything. Here's the new one. Here's the original. You can see how much the color has changed on this guy over the years. But now I've got a new one. I've got the original. It's brand new and it's a little tight. <laughs> Maybe my head has grown in the last 10 years, but I have a brand new original cabbie hat and I love it. Now I can stretch this a little bit. I've got a steamer and I have a head form. I can sort of press this around. So I'm gonna do that a bit to get it a stretched a little bit and then I'll just start wearing it until it becomes a little more comfortable. But I think this one's gonna come back in the rotation again as my daily driver because the, uh, the one I'm currently wearing is getting a little gross on the inside. I, I sweat a lot in this thing, especially when I wear this to events, you know, at like Dragon Con. I'm wearing it and sweating in it the whole time and it's just soaking in there and I, uh, I don't wash it enough. So I'm, this one's is still in good shape, could use a cleaning. I think I'll keep it as a backup as this one comes back into the rotation. Oh, it just feels right. I love the, the lines. I prefer this sort of paneling the way it's done on this guy here. It just makes me so happy. So thank you, Brittany. You're so thoughtful. She did this without me even knowing. It just showed up one day and absolutely blew me away. Best partner ever. Uh, so there it is. That's my uh, talk about hats. Uh, do you like hats? If you have a favorite kind of hat, let me know down in the comments. I want to talk about hats with you all. Uh, you're spectacular, wonderful human beings. Thank you as always for the, sp the support, especially the members of our Extra Credit Club. These are the fine folks who take a chunk of their hard-earned cash and send it our way as a thank you for making these videos for the past 14 years or so. We couldn't do it without you. You guys are wonderful. We really appreciate it. Uh, that'll wrap it up for me. We'll have a new video for you on Monday, something a little bit more makery and not quite so hatty. <laughs> But who knows, maybe I'll have more to say about hats in the future. Thanks as always, you're awesome. Keep making stuff and we'll see you in the next build. Bye.